So today we're going to talk about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Alpha Test 2. Our first weekend of testing has ended as the team gather all feedback and bug reports, ready to iterate on a new build ready for the following weekend. To those that managed to get hold of an alpha key and try the game, either from me via social medias or streams, or other streamers, and of course the dev team. I hope you enjoyed your time on the alpha test so far. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, maybe some issues or bugs you encountered. I will bring up a couple of issues I found myself during my playtest, but most of my issues I will be posting on the official PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds forums in the bug report section. And of course there will be bugs during the alpha playtests, and the best thing we can all do as players is report them as feedback in as much detail as possible. Now with all that being said, there's been some great gameplay improvements since the first alpha test. From gameplay mechanics like new audio and smoother mouse movements, making sure you can line up that perfect sniper shot, to new vehicles like the sedan, and the boat which I did have to use at one point to get back into the safety zone. I'll be completely honest with you, I didn't win a single match this weekend. I'll put that down to learning the gun mechanics, as they did seem slightly different from other games to me, with new weapon sway added, and learning bullet spread patterns. By the end of the alpha test I actually managed to kill some people with some really nice shots, and I do plan from learning this weekend to win in the future weekend's tests which by the way, end on the 4th of December. So keep an eye out on the weekends leading up to the 4th of December for more alpha tests, and if you didn't get to take part, keep an eye out for more keys given out by designated streamers. But let's get back to the gameplay. Vehicles, as I mentioned in my previous Alpha 1 test footage, feel pretty slick, and there's not really much I could fault them on. You can't use a vehicle as a quick way to race up to somebody, jump out and shoot them in the back, as you'll end up with your shins turning into a million toothpicks. And yes, in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, you can run people over with vehicles, and they do die. Your player loadout is pretty much the same as the first alpha test, having two primary weapons, a secondary firearm, being a pistol, a melee weapon, and grenades. From smoke grenades, stun grenades, to heavy explosives, which I'm not sure if I was doing something wrong, but didn't seem to throw that far. Though I did manage to use a stun grenade to save my own life at the beginning of one match. Melee weapons that I've found but are not restricted to, a sickle, a crowbar, a machete, and a frying pan, which is a rare find and a one-hit kill. I got killed by it once, and it was extremely frustrating. Of course, I won't put that footage in the video because I'm going to pretend that never happened. And right now is where I mention a couple of issues that I did encounter. For the most part, when dropping in from the plane, I did notice that a lot of people seemed to be way, way further down to the ground than I was, allowing them to grab a weapon and defend themselves before I'd even hit the ground. Whatever I did, I couldn't travel down as fast as they seemed to. But while taking a look at the exit from the plane, it seems some people do exit the plane before you do depending on who's sat closest to the back of the plane when exiting. I'm not sure if this will be changed in the future, but it gives an unfair start to certain players that managed to hit the ground first because they exited the plane first. Of course, we could all combat this by just not landing where others have landed. Another thing that I had problems with was looting airdrop crates. While opening the crate, I couldn't do anything to get out of the opening animation. The bar filled up, I was being shot at and panicked, trying to press every key and button that I could, and then I died. It was a very similar situation for me while using a medkit. I'd taken out a couple of players and was very low on health, so then I had to take a medkit. While taking this medkit, I couldn't cancel the interaction, leaving me open to attack from other players. Luckily, the player shooting at me now missed pretty much every shot he fired, and I managed to take out two more players. A lot of these issues are already being made aware of by the dev team and will be worked on towards future iterations. All in all though, on the first weekend of Alpha Test 2, I had a great deal of fun and couldn't stop playing, and it was during the end of my playtest that I found out that points you earn during playing games could actually be used to open crates to obtain gear for your character to wear from the start. So in the short deal of time the development team have been working on Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which is I believe just over 8 months, they've achieved a great deal. They have a very talented development team and I believe they will achieve a great deal more. But we can all hope that Player Unknown's Battlegrounds will become the definitive Battle Royale experience. So let me know in the comments below. What did you think of your time spent in Alpha Test 2? I'll leave all relevant links in the description below, and I'll see you peeps next time.